Yeah. Primarily Kirby now, or is it really even split between it's all always, three it's of the top? Try, man. Yeah. Like, he, he will do whatever he needs to do. So it looks like we got another Puffball ditto. Yeah. We've already seen Mando play this matchup before today against Dark Horse. That's true. And I he heard won there shield breaks last and game. stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no. No, you hate to see that. I'm going to say this is a matchup that's never happened before. Y Bomb versus Mando. Oh, yeah, for sure. Despite not being too far away, I mean, the Midwest and Canada, it's just you don't see much of Y Bomb. He's a legend, but you only see him every so often. Yep. And at this point, you only see Mando every so often, too. So yeah, Mando definitely super experienced with this matchup once again, and especially today against a really good Jigglypuff uh, with, in Dark Horse. Yeah. So he plays the matchup all the time against you in Wisconsin, and he's already shown yeah, how good he is, beating one of the best of the best. But I think Y-Bomb has the edge on uh, Dark Horse as a Jigglypuff main, so. I would say so as well. Most, oh wow, great DI. So most likely what we're going to see is kind of a, a repeat of that match, but at a higher level. Not to say that Dark Horse's uh, Jigglypuff is bad by any means. It's just that Y-Bomb was at one point, I'm sure, considered the best Jigglypuff mm -hmm. in North America. He's more of a, like a character specialist. For oh, wow. What a turnaround. Yeah. Nice. So he just barely missed the ledge there, barely missed the edge guard on Y-Bomb. So Y-Bomb definitely coming out on top and just showing that he is super comfortable above Kirby right now. Yes, that's exactly where Jigglypuff wants to be. That's where both of them want to be is why this is such an interesting matchup because they have so many jumps, they can play that Sky game. Kirby is just much better at it because his jumps don't get worse as he goes through them. Planks there. And that's going to kill. I thought Wispy might have taken them both out, but no. he stopped just at the ledge. <laughs> so that was an interesting uh, exchange there. Lots of down airs from Y-Bomb. Mm -hmm. Couldn't seal the deal with an up tilt into rest. Yeah, his up tilts like, uh, kept like clanking and stuff. Yeah, and then Mando tries to DI out of that, but Y-Bomb just willing to back throw and get the kill anyway. Jigglypuff, one of the few characters that can kind of just zero to death Kirby at a really low percent. Oh, yeah. More so than other other characters can, which helps a lot. But oh, yeah. we don't really see that yet. We haven't seen really low percent grab combo, like rest setups. It's been he's winning the War of Attrition, even yep. after SDing the very first stock. Yeah. But Mando with a, a really good uh, edge guarding situation there. Yeah. But Y Bomb bringing it right back with the same thing. I love his creative edge oh, no. guarding. Okay, he's making it back. Oh, Rolling to safety. That could have been so bad for him. Yeah. He could have. He literally could have just died. He literally could have died. With one hit of the down air. His vertical recovery is so bad. Mm. Oh, oh, no jumps, but he gets back with the nair. The weak nair. I can't nair. believe it. Mando is tight right now. Every muscle in his body wants to win this game, and he's getting danced on off stage. There, oh, it's gonna do trade. it this time. A sigh of relief from wow. Y-Bomb. So many times that could have just reversed, and Mando clutched that, it. That last stock was insane. Yeah, for both play. Yeah. Like, ugh. all right. So Mando probably gonna stick with the same character. No, immediately locked Pikachu. What? Yeah, he immediately locked in wow. Pikachu. No hesitation. Okay. Okay. You know, he's good with this character too. I, I swear, I thought he was going to stay the same because, like, it was close, but, again, like, Y-Bomb had a really early death stock one. It might have looked closer than it felt for Mando. Oh, but and that's we, it. And the stuff that he experienced in that match, like, Y-Bomb looked really good at edge guarding Kirby. He was kind of winning the Sky game when the Drill game, so maybe he wants to change it up a bit. That's true. I Now that I'm looking at it, probably a good decision. Most of the time when we play, yeah. he, does go, he does go Pikachu. Okay. So... Oh, I think he was trying to go for maybe like an up smash though? I think it was an aerial of some sort, but it could have been a smash, something else. Okay, so decent punish there from Mando. Uh, obviously doesn't lead to like an edge guarding situation or a stock, but that's good. Zips right back to the other side of the stage. All right, both players wise enough to put themselves in the right position there. Y-Bomb putting himself <laughs> He's a little off right now, yeah. trying to send a message to Y-Bomb. 
Y-Bomb looking just a little frustrated here. Not sure who this Mando guy is from Wisconsin. He, he very well, like, just have never heard of him. No Ooh. idea who he is. Run off, rest. That's nice. Not something you see every day. Nice. Yes! Reverse and then the air, too. Exactly. If Not just an air. No, the air wouldn't have done it. Or if it, if it did, it wouldn't have been as cool. Right. That's amazing no stuff by Mando. No smash DI. And then the Nair. The, two combos back to back. Almost the same thing. Why didn't he go for the reverse bear? He did it the first time. He had to change Why it up. Why did he do it the second time? He might be worried. This, this is where it's worrisome because Why Bomb won game one, which means he has the upper hand in the counter prick war. So I think Mando was afraid of the switch to Falcon, so he went back to Kirby. Okay. He wanted to get some momentum. He wanted to feel more comfortable in the set. Now it's tied up. It's 1 1. He wants to see if his Kirby can. Do it again, or do it better than last time, rather. That's fair. But it's also dangerous. Ooh. His Pikachu was kind of moving. It might have been better to just play out Falcon Pika. Uh, I don't know. It's possible. It's really his preference, though. Oh, that was so scary. I, I respect the attempt, and it was very close to being, like, actually happening. But if you miss that against a, a puff like Y-Bomb, it is... It is scary, dude. Yeah. That's, that could be just a, a raw rest punish. Yeah. Good weak back air. Mando, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, all you really need is, is those weak back airs. Because eventually, you know, you just run out of jumps. Why bomb doing He's, something that I don't normally do? And is, you don't see too much. Yeah, exactly. The, the pounds backwards mm -hmm. just to stall out. And that's going to kill off the top. Wow, Mando is really feeling it. He's pumped. Absolutely. You really don't want to get winners top eight and then lose two straight. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Okay. He left himself so, a little open there on the platform. Yep. He really thought he had the read on Y-Bomb's approach. Not the best punish, but he recovers. Salvages it. Mm. Scary what stuff. What a grab! And at zero, Good that's DI. scary. Yeah. They're just dancing around each other in the air right now. It's <laughs> it so just, tense. Yeah, you can just like, you can hear the wind off of their hits. Yeah. Just <laughs> <laughs> oh, but that one actually did hit. Nice DI up to get out of that down air drill. Yeah, uh, Puff in a very bad situation when they're, you're trapped under the side plat like mm -hmm. that. Definitely not a position you want to be in. Do nothing you really do can beat Kirby just because Sure, your Nair has like a little bit more reach, mm -hmm. but it doesn't come out nearly as fast as uh, Kirby's short hop Nair or short hop back air. It's losing the war right now to Kirby's back air almost every time. Absolutely. He tried to retreat to the ledge there, but then Mando was definitely wary Those of that. His recoveries oh. are so good. He's so good at with the drift and the pounds. Like, I actually can't believe it. And I don't, I don't know if Mando knows what to do about it, but he. I think a forward tilt would have actually sealed the deal there. I was expecting him to do it. And like I said before um, in, the, in the last match, um, Jigglypuff's first two jumps are definitely a lot larger and mm -hmm. higher than Kirby's. So Jigglypuff uh, unexpectedly can out-jump Kirby, at least in the beginning. Yeah. So I don't think Mando expected that, and then he got hit with that down air. Tech in place was risky there. Okay. But so he's still got two socks to play with. Absolutely. Mando can definitely just play his game. He doesn't really need like a rest, which puts him in a bad position to get a stock. So if he plays his cards right, or in this case, places his back air as well, he might be able to take these two stocks. But Y Bomb, all he needs is that one combo. And he's got a stock to play with. So he can make those risky plays that he can't mm -hmm. normally. Mm -hmm. Which is what's really demoralizing when you fight Jigglypuff, especially when you work so hard to get a lead against her, and then she's able to like clutch a stock with a back throw, and then you respawn, do something risky, and then just get rest comboed. It's like the worst feeling. Yeah. yeah. Mando threw out that downer a little too early, mm -hmm. which allowed Y-Bomb to just sneak under with that Nair, mm -hmm. sending him off stage. And then he didn't have a lot of jumps to play with. He just had to throw something out to try and keep Y-Bomb away. And then he just saw it, forward aired, ended the stock. So going into game, is it three? He's trying something different. This is now no, it's game two four. one. Yeah. Yeah, it's game four. Oh, he's trying something different. 
Okay. He might have been wary of the switch. He might have well, been wary of the Pikachu switch. So he's like, okay, I don't want to do that matchup again. That's so right. I'd rather play Falcon Kirby if I had to. Which is what Mando wants. There we go. <laughs> Just practicing. He's yeah. practicing his form. That's he's all. He's like, do I still know how to do this move? Oh, he was too far. He was too far in. Like, why Why was he so far? Or why was he so center stage? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at this point. It ends point, up but in the same result, but in like. In the long run, it can matter. Yeah, for sure. Like, don't do that again. <laughs> Y bomb, really good spacing here. Gets that back air. Nice. Gets a quick 42% and an edge guarding situation. Nice forward tilt. Nice. And that Nair is going to seal the deal. Just like he does with Jigglypuff. He waits for the Kirby to commit to the cutter. Goes high. Nair's him away. Rinse and repeat. Oh, Wispy. Oh, yeah. Wispy Whipty. definitely helping that situation there for Mando. Oh, he wanted that forward smash. He's really good at getting that weak back air, mm -hmm. falling, and then fa uh, forward smashing. Just missed it that time. Nice down air grab by Y Bomb there. Ooh! Dash is just a little too just far. Enough, yeah, enough to force him to tech, which is what you want as Kirby. Oh, I thought he had that oh, drift. Yeah, right that was a good drift, but just a little bit too far to the right. Oh, big back air. You always forget how big that thing is. All right, yeah. I do. You no, know, it's huge. Oh, wow. I think he uh, expected him to go too far away with another up tilt to follow it up and get that shield break, so he's trying something else. I was going to say, risky attempt by Y-Bomb, but now he's in a terrible spot. Yeah. One more try, yeah. Yep. Surprised he opted in for the uh, forward smash there. You usually want to go with down tilt so you don't get hugged, but whatever works, man. And that roll-on from Kirby is so scary. I cannot tell you how many times I've gotten caught by that. Y-Bomb a little bit wary, more wary than I would be. Mm -hmm. He's steering clear of that, but of course, Mando's still going to try it. Doesn't get punished for it either. Wow, nice pivot, pivot up tilt. And up this is going to, this is looking like a uh, a game five, but great DI by Y-Bomb. Oh, oh was that poked. a Falcon kick yeah, or Falcon, Falcon punch? Kick, yeah. Okay, yeah, Falcon kick, uh, according to Dark Horse, is the worst move in the game. Loses to everything. I always respond with, have you seen Luigi's dash attack? But have you seen Donkey Kong's dash attack? Uh, that was that was my other choice. Yeah, that one's. But either way, terrible move. Uh, it loses to everything. Like jab. What if it beat everything? You can't just have it this move flying across the screen that doesn't lose to stuff though. So sure. Yeah. It's it's balanced. Falcon kick is fine. Amazing Ooh. stuff. <laughs> He's nice pop up. up. And even Y Bomb is a little happy about it. He's like, oh, that was sick. All right, Y Bomb. He so this needs is to find uh, his composure here in game five. Yeah, this is a little bit like that one game where uh, Y Bomb accidentally SD in the beginning. So let's see if he can bring it back. Amazing stuff. Wow. Amazing stuff. He did die really quickly off the side, though, so we are going to get a punish. Not a good one, though. No, no punish. And now he's in disadvantage again, and you're getting grabbed. Yep. See, forward throw combo stopped working at Kirby so early. Like, like uh, he was at like 20, and he knew not to go for it. Gets on with that back air, sends him downwards with that forward air, and he's contesting him with him being above him, and he gets the, gets big Kirby. He's big Kirby. He's big Kirby now. Got to flex on him a little bit. Wow, that rising back air, really good stuff. Yep. yep. That's gonna kill off the top. Mando wants this. You can tell how bad Dude, he wants it. Mando is Mando is grinding out for this right now. He, yeah, like you said, he's put his whole body into it. His body, <laughs> mind, and soul. Good roll out. Absolutely. Not a not a whole lot of great shield. Get out of shield options uh, for Kirby or Jigglypuff for that matter. So yeah. you got to rely on those rolls. So if you want to learn how to roll at the right time, play Jigglypuff or Kirby. Teleport? Uh, no teleport. No teleport. And no jumps for Kirby. Uh, if, man, he just barely missed that ledge. Yeah. So pretty much even game here. Uh, Jigglypuff above Kirby, but Kirby gets the forward air into a nair. He really thought he was going to roll the other side, but he reacts to which way he went. Oh, scary stuff. And he gets a push off nair. Yeah. And this could be a big swing for Y-Bomb, taking the momentum all back in his favor for the last stock of this set for Mando. All right. 
As long as Mando doesn't su try to reach too high uh, which with, he, with Jigglypuff above him. He kind of got zealous, and he approached him on the top plat, but he's still alive. He's playing a little risky. He knows it's not it yet. Oh, I don't know. That was a plat drop dare, I think. Take that was a Nair hit. trade. He's lapped him in percent at this point. What, what can Mando do? to dig himself out of this hole. Uh, he needs to get a, a forward uh, throw. Yep, he needs to get, uh, <laughs> needs to get Jigglypuff off stage and Edgeguard with just a weak anything. Yep. All right. And then he needs to not get hit. He needs to not get drilled right now. All right, yeah. why am I taking this guy? He's like, I'm not giving it up that easily. Absolutely. That is the best position for him to be in right now. He knows he has the advantage. Uh, he can play a little bit more risky than, than Mando can just because of the high amount of hit stun that he's going to receive with his moves. Good tech by Y-Bomb. Oh, this is bad for Y-Bomb. He can't get out of here. Oh, Mr. Z cancel. He's getting pushed off. DI up. Oh my oh gosh, my it's God, so scary. So Y-Bomb finds his way out of the corner. And back onto the top flat, which is exactly where he wants to be. He gets the drill. Suplex. Back throw. Not Not enough. Kill. Mando is still Not alive. Not kill. We will see the biggest pop-up. No! Oh, a heartbreaker for Wisconsin. <sighs> a heartbreaker for Mando. Great edge guard by Y-Bomb there. Canada stays alive in this tournament. That was one of the most intense set of the day, of the weekend. How do you was, feel? That was so good. That was so good. <laughs> yeah. It was game five, last stock. You got Kirby versus Puff. It's so tense. Obviously, it can be a little boring every once in a while. You know, you just you got two puffballs trying to get to the top flat, but it wasn't like that. The I didn't entire, feel that. The yeah. entire match, it was always just, ugh, it was always just who can get above who, but then as soon as they got above, stuff happened. Especially with the looming threat of like counter picks between games, there was a lot more going on like in the game and out of the game. Absolutely. I think, you know, we only saw Y Bomb's Falcon once, mm -hmm. and it was pretty much. You know, end of story as soon as he got out. It was a throwaway game, I think, so he could stay ahead in the counterpick war. Absolutely. Yeah. And, uh, yeah.